hello everyone welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to do face landmark detection using media pipe in your flutter project but this will be specifically for android as you can see this face landmark detection works only on android so i won't be able to show it for show it to you for ios at least at the time of this recording so first i'll show you the output what exactly are we trying to do now the output is little finicky like it works fine on native android i don't know why it works does like it the output is little uh, off i would say so here you can see i have selected the face and you can as you can see the face landmark is detected a little off um, same issue happens in react native as well but does not happen on native android i don't know why uh, i think the layout shifts a little bit depending on what image you have picked like i have tried hard coding the image as well image width and height as well uh, sh still uh, i'm facing this issue but yeah anyways like in case if you are able to figure it out like that is a very minor issue uh, yeah uh, in case you are able to figure it out do let me know in the comments uh, but yeah i'll show you how to do it for android at least so first create a, your flutter project once you do that go to lib uh, main dot dart uh, yeah before that you will have to go to the documentation uh, scroll down to the model section over here click on model section and over here you will have to download this face landmarker tf light model which we will use shortly inside our project uh, once you do that go to main.dart and here i have refactored my home page widget to, ext uh, to be a stateful widget i have created a method channel for picking uh, image from our photo library once that image is picked i am sending that url from uh, native side to our flutter side and uh, so here you can see on button click i am just calling this pick image method so i have written a uh, native implementation for this once we get the image url i am sending this image url to our image view which will initialize all the face detecting stuff uh, which i'll show you in a bit okay i am just sending this image url and for this this is a custom widget so for that i have created this my image view dot dart file as well it is uh, so this is the identifier which will help us to identify on the native side i'm setting sending an image url i have also generated a key so that in case you pick some other image uh, the view should be updated appropriately and i have just updated uh, added our image url to this creation param which is of type map string dynamic and this is for just updating our image whenever we try to pick a new image and this is boilerplate code uh, which you have to write whenever you are trying to create a native view so yeah here i'm just passing our identifier as well as our map next go to android go to app src main create a folder called assets and inside assets you have will have to download that you will have to drag and drop the uh, tf light model which we have just downloaded from the documentation so just drag and drop this uh, also inside this build.gradle you will have to add this dependency so this is for reg using register for activity result which will help us to pick image and this is the media task vision dependency uh, this dependency is for coil because we want to load uh, image into an image view with the help of a bitmap and i have also taken constraint layout which i will show uh, tell you in a bit also inside settings.gradle i have updated the kotlin version to 1.9.0 previously this was this used to be in build.gradle but i think they have moved it to settings.gradle now uh, next uh, go to kotlin first you will have to create this overlay view.kt now i have just copy pasted this from the documentation so if i go back to the android documentation over here you can see that i have this overlay view.kt file if i click on it i will go to this docs so you can just copy paste it basically this helps us to draw a bounding box around the face okay so yeah i'll simply scroll through this for now you can just copy paste it if you want to all right okay so yeah that's it okay next uh, here i have created this my image view factory class because this is a native view again you can just copy paste it this is a boilerplate code for any kind of a native view and it instantiate my image view i'll come back to my image view in a bit next you will have to go to main.kt first you will have to change this to flutter fragment activity then i have created a method channel dot result here i have used register for activity result 
and once the user selects an image we get this media uri which i'm sending it back to the flutter side and here you can see i'm registering our native view so using the same identifier and once the button is clicked we are calling this get content dot launch array of image slash star now coming back to my image view dot kt file here as you can see we are creating a class for our my image view so here i'm using constraint layout because i want the overlay view as well as the, our image view to be on top of each other uh, you can use uh, relative layout as well but i don't really remember relative layouts code i'm most used to uh, constraint layout that's why i'm using this over here next you will have to create a base options builder and you will have to make sure you use the same name whatever you have inside the assets folder over here as well next here we are creating a face land marker the minimum confidence i have set it to 0.5 number of faces is equal to one then i am creating options builder dot build and here i am created one variable for face land marker as well then i am just uh, initializing our face land marker dot create from options uh, here we are uh, returning constraint layout as well that is the parent view then we are setting some layout parents for our constraint layout as well so here i was actually trying to hard code some width and height to avoid that output issue but still it wasn't working here uh, then you have to define some constraint set and here i have defined constraint for our image so it's basically like constraint to the width uh, and height as well as to the top uh, bottom uh, like we are setting the width and height for our image view and here then we are constraining it to uh, like top start and bottom similarly we are doing the same thing for our overlay view as well and then we are applying our constraint layout then once we get the uri uh, i'm calling this method called display uh, with the help of the uri we are converting it to a bitmap of of argb underscore 888 type uh, then from the bitmap we are converting it to an mp image we are passing our mp image to the face land marker dot detect method uh, then inside overlay view dot set results uh, we are passing our uh, result to this as well as the mp image height and width and we are using the load method from coil to load the uh, bitmap inside our image view i have also created one helpful method for scaling down our bitmap in case the bitmap is very large uh, depending on what the user has selected so yeah i think uh, that's it thank you for watching bye